G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. Um, we're still in our little base. We've, we've, we've still got problems with the neighbours. And I think it's about time we... At least politely, semi-politely, reasonably politely. Okay, we're just going to be rude and we're going to ask the biters to... I do not want a shotgun, thank you. Um, and ask the biters to give us just a little bit of space. Um... And make a car. I think a car is what we really need. I do have a little bit of steel being made up here. Uh, really? I still can't make eight engines? <sighs> engines are still not handcraftable. Um, okay, research wise. What do we want? We want to unlock... Obviously, automation two to, to then do fluid handling, which will then unlock the whole oil tech tree. So, let's do a lab research speed, then fluid handling, then oil processing, which will then unlock blue science eventually. Um, we do a lab's research speed too. Okay. Uh, all right, let's just go as far as lab research speed one. Uh, yeah. Okay. So put down the assembler, give it some power, engines, have all that stuff. Of course, my spacing is always off by one. Uh, pipe. Really? More inserters more not of the ghost variety okay fine we'll go, we'll go steal some inserts from the box because yeah I, I 400 400 will probably do me for a little bit um i think we need to say hello to the biters i i, I really really honestly believe that's going to be the next major course of action um build a car say hello to the biters get rid of these worms up here um I've also noticed that, not that it's a particularly good thing, but I've noticed at least, uh, heavy armor, that's probably also a good idea. Um, I have noticed that our pollution is spreading down here and we have another biter nest up down here and, and power is not exactly what I would call well defended, um, not in the slightest. So, yeah, three engines, I need eight for a car, right? Okay, so the only thing I can really do is I can take my wall and attempt to defend a little bit whilst I wait. Oh, 1,600 rounds. That'll do wonders. As long as I don't die. Because if I die, they're all wasted. Uh, 115 wall, good. We'll just keep pillboxing everything. Whilst we wait to handcraft stuff, because yes, dirty handcrafter, it is what it is. Um, yeah, you can have an extra notch out the front, it's fine. See, I, I, I'm making a cardinal sin. I'm actually, I'm walling myself into my own base. And literally all that does is, is like I said, walls you into your own base. Three. Can I give you more stuff? No, not really. Um, this guy could probably... Where, where'd the walls go? There. Um, this guy could probably do with more walls. Probably also with a friend. Maybe two friends to keep him coming. Because um, he, he... He looks like he's spending lots of friendship pellets to keep the neighbours at bay. Uh, so it's seven engines. Can't. Eight engines. Come on. Eight engines. All right. Handcraft one of them too. Uh, let's take the armor off. Let's put the armor back in. Um, whilst we're here, we're going to have you make grenades. Actually...
Will you reach? Oh, you reach. Done. Uh, you are going to make grenades. Yes, temporary builds. We're, we're all about the temporary builds here. Temporary builds making temporary grenades. Uh, maybe a slightly faster inserter. Just saying. Okay. And now it's night time. All right. No combat at night time. Not, not doing that. Um, one of the other things I need to do is I do need to get... They're still dying fairly fast. I do need to get the rest of these furnaces up and running. Because um, the plan is to have at least four copper with at least four iron. And then I need a steel smelter, which are twice the normal length of a normal smelter. Um, and I really don't have room to go south because we have all these patches in the way. So really my only choice is to go north, which I have cliffs in the way. So damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, I want to put... Um, I want to put grenades down there. That way I can use the X button to swap to it very, very quickly. Uh, five gun turrets. Five gun turrets should be enough. Should be. Let's craft some more of those whilst they're standing around and wait. Because I, I'm, I'm not going into combat at night time. That's just silly. All I have is my mini map. Uh, I didn't look to see how fast you're using science, but let's assume it's not super fast. So let's go with that one. Let's go with uh, oil processing. Okay. There. Oh, they're right there. And this guy's already stood up, ready to get me. Okay. Awesome. Oh, those sounds. Those sounds. Still out of range? Nope, that's in range. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the sounds like that. Uh, ammo. Jump in the car. Have our grenades in our hand. Alright, we're ready. Into combat. Uh, trees, 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 trees. We got a couple of kills. I'll take I'll take a couple of kills. We lost just about all the health on the car. Alright, back into combat. Whoo, okay. Yes, I'm horrible at, horrible at combat. I'm even worse at driving vehicles. <clears throat> but that's alright. They're dead. That's fine. It means maybe I can move on to the ones at the southern corner of the base and take them out. Um, because I don't mind... Well... The attacks to the north, we, we've pretty much dealt with and we're, we're defending ourselves nicely. That, that, that's fine. It's the ones to the south that actually have me worried. Um, because that steam build has nothing, nothing in the way of defenses. Um, I do, I was going to pick up more grenades and I forgot. I do want more coal. Thank you. Cause fine enough. Our car runs on coal power. Don't ask. Okay. Jump in. Actually, they're a fair distance away. But this is going to have biters and worms and possibly spitters and who knows what else. Uh, and the first thing I do is run into a cliff. Awesome. Actually, that wasn't that bad. We made it in and out with, with probably less damage. Doesn't stop there being rocks in my way. Nature, the real enemy. Um, okay, so now that they're both sorted, I can stop whilst we're here and actually add some defenses. Because that's probably a half decent idea. Uh, you can have a stack and a stack, or half a stack each. Repair my car back up. Jump back in the car.
Okay. So next on the list is pretend these exist already and hooked up to this iron. And then I want to build a steel smelter. So I want to put in the complementary full gap that we've been using um, between other smelters in the past. And I want to build a steel smelter. Now steel smelter is a, li a little bit. Steel smelter is very, very different to a iron smelter. You or any other plate smelter. You can take your iron plate output and literally loop it back into another uh, another furnace um, and make steel from it. But the normal preference when it comes to making steel is actually use a, a uh, direct insertion method. So we'd have a furnace here with a furnace here and we'd be putting coal and iron straight into this furnace and then taking the plate out of that, put it into this furnace with some more fuel to then um, take the steel out of that furnace. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to just start ticking off research. We want flammables because why not? We can have rocket fuel because why not? Uh, sulfur press processing, why not? These are all oil items. Um, that unfortunately we can't build any of them until we actually unlock oil, cliff explosives, because I've liked those, batteries, well, there's, there's lots of research we can use, that we, we could start getting. Um, now we're going to line things up roughly. I just destroyed my example. Okay. Okay. Try again, JD. So, as I was saying, we do... Direct insertion, okay? We bring coal and iron in here, we convert that into iron plate, we take our iron plate, we convert that into steel. And because the ratios are perfectly set up at 3.2 seconds to make a single piece of iron plate, and then a steel plate needs five iron plate and takes 16 seconds, and five times 3.2 happens to equal 16, it's a perfect one-to-one -one ratio. So nice and simple. Not complicated at all. The catch is I need to feed a lot of coal into this. Um, speaking of coal, where's that coal line? All the way down here somewhere. So I need to bring that further forward. And I'm going to build these properly as I go. So I need to get, I need to get power. That didn't work. Okay, get power all the way up here as well. Okay, so I've got power, which means we've got some light to work work by. Uh, there and there. Um. We already know we're going to use this trick to get coal on both sides of the belt. So, actually, let's even put this off center because right here works better for me. That direction. I need some iron ore. You know what? Do we have... I've got one miner. Let's make some more miners. Let's... Bring this over here. We just need just a little bit of... There's a cliff in the way. Just a little bit of iron ore to demonstrate this process. Uh, that's more than enough. Belt across the front. Gun turret, gun turret, gun turret. Because I'm not at all expecting visitors. Uh, power lines. Yep, that's another cliff in the way. And we're just going to... Actually, you know what? We're just going to underground the cliff. Yes. It, it doesn't break the immersion at all. Don't ask. Uh, that's going the wrong way. Right, drag our power over here. Where's our coal? Did I break coal? Oh, that's a ghost. 
Yeah, ghost items don't move stuff terribly well. There we go. We've got working coal. Okay. So we're going to bring coal up here. Now, I want to get coal on half this belt, iron on the other half of this belt, and magic to happen, and we're going to get iron. We know that already. And we're just going to set up our furnaces like this. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to pull the steel out of this furnace, but at the same time, I need to get coal into this furnace. So, I need to use a small trick to get coal onto that furnace. And I'm going to do it like that. So, it's going to put coal on just half the belt. And that's more than enough coal. We don't actually need large amounts of coal. We just need a little bit of coal. And you'll see when these guys output iron, and I'll actually uh, output steel, and I'll put a little bit of steel in there. You can see inserters intentionally put things on the far side of the belt. They're lazy. When they, when they put stuff out, they go to the far side of the belt. When they bring stuff in, they actually prioritize the inside of the belt, the one that's closest to them to start with. Um, don't know why it's, it's it's a quirk of inserters and their laziness um, we just all accept it and move on so because i want my coal line to potentially keep going whoops wrong way i need to put another splitter in do a curvy thing because i'm going to have this exact build on the other side of the map on the other side of this belt so we're going to copy that rotate it twice pop it there Bring this belt up, like so, and go furnaces everywhere, inserters everywhere, power everywhere, and we're going to have our very, very start to steel production. Now, steel is very, very different. The fact that you need... Um, we covered these furnaces down here, and we covered what speed they output at, and that with 24 furnaces on each side of the belt, that would fill one yellow belt worth of um, plate. Because steel takes five times as long, the build's actually got to be five times as big, which is way more than what we're planning on building. Um, so with that in mind, I actually, I want to copy and paste from there to there. I actually build mine twice the normal length um because at one at at normal length so we're almost there is that 24 furnaces uh copy that is 22 so that's 24 they, they it's they start a little bit further in so they stick out a little bit further on the other side so at 24 furnaces this will output one-fifth of a normal belt's worth of materials. Um, I normally build basically four of these. Okay, I don't go for a whole belt's worth, but I will go for a four-fifths full belt. Um, I, normally that's, that's enough to get me out of trouble. Um, we will, as the game progresses, upgrade our belt speed from what it is to twice this speed. So it's going to be a lot faster in the end. Um, and because of those belt upgrades, um, we're also, ooh, hi friends. Actually, you guys are not as bad as I thought you would be. Um, because th there's always one late to the party. Um, yeah. Four fifths of the belts normally, normally enough. When we upgrade our belts, to a faster speed. In theory, we'd have to double our furnace length, but what we can actually do is we can get around that by actually doubling the speed of our furnace. We do unlock a faster furnace um, as the game progresses. And when we unlock that faster furnace, we can then produce more iron. Um, more iron faster, so to speak. Uh, or, or produce the same amount of iron in, in, in half the time, okay? Because the furnace runs at twice the normal speed. All right, so we've got our furnaces laid down. Um, we need our inserters, and this one is a, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Um, I'll actually do the power poles, because that way we can all see what I'm doing. 
including me. Uh, and then through the middle. I have no guarantee these are actually in the right place, so I'll remove all of them. And I'll leave them for a minute. I want to do these power poles, please. And then I'll stand on this belt. There we go. For that little boost to run speed and do all those ones. Okay. Now we can see what we're doing. Can I handcraft more of those? Yes, please. Uh, so where are we up to? We're up to here. So I want all six of these guys put down. And then I'll get to do the other side. And then I'll get to do all the ones facing the other direction. Yeah, building furnaces, like I said, it's, it's not very fun. It, it's one of those things that has to be done. So this one I'll build on screen because it is the first steel furnace and I want to show you guys how it's set, how it's laid out. Um, and look, don't get me wrong, there's many, many, many different ways to build furnaces, um, furnace arrays, uh, especially steel. Um, I build this one in this particular orientation because it is the absolute cheapest in resources. And that is the only reason I build it this particular way. Um, there is a method I used to use that featured lots and lots of undergrounds and unfortunately undergrounds are not exactly cheap. So I no longer build it that way. Um, and if we just run power straight up the middle, voila, everything's powered, everything's happy. Uh, you're not happy. Do you have a ghost? Yeah, you've got a ghost. Done. We obviously need more mining drills. One. One will make all the difference, I'm sure. Uh, my inventory is completely out of iron, actually. But I do have five more gun turrets. So one, two, three. And we'll put one in here. And you know what? We might as well put one in here. All right, so uh, actually before I run away, so once we've got every all the materials to the end, we have a couple of choices, okay? We can use a, a splitter and filter out steel and then use another splitter here and filter out steel and merge the two steel lines together in some mm, fashion like, really? You come around that way. You come all the way. You come all the way around that way. Uh, none of you guys have spare iron. Oh, you do. One of you guys did. Gun turret. Two of them. Uh, actually, I want to filter on the right. And there we go. We can have nice, not really neat. Terribly messy, horrible looking um, at the end, but it is filtered just, just let the steel out, not let the coal out. What I actually prefer doing is using our undergrounds like so. And you can see this is trying to take the material north. This one's trying to take the material south. Um, what I actually like doing is reversing both these. So this is now actually trying to take the material from the north to the south. And this one is trying to take the material from the south to the north. And all I do to do that is, is literally after placing them down, just hit the rotate button. And that'll just reverse the direction. And then put a belt in the middle and we're gonna side load. We're gonna use our underground trick to cut off the coal and side load on the steel. And then we're gonna do the exact same again. We're gonna side load from the, the underground onto the transport belt, like so. And if I just scavenge everything, you can see these two belts are pushing onto that middle belt and it gives us a pure belt of steel. And we'll put a gun turret there and uh, really coming around this way. 
Okay, two gun turrets, like that. So we now have steel. We have two lanes of iron. We have copper. We have red and green science automated, thoroughly automated. Um, the next really, really big item we need is we need oil. We need to start being able to produce oil, petroleum products, um, to get our research continued to move along. Um, which means some of these temporary builds can start getting removed. Uh, but really to do that, I need to get more... Oh, they are coming. Oh, they're coming in there and out there. Hmm. So I'd like to start shooting them when they're in the middle. But there's no, there's no good choke points. Um... Okay, so yeah, what, what we really need to do now is I need to set up more furnace arrays. Um, not that we quite need them up and running yet, but we do need to clean up some of this temporary build stuff that we've got down here. Um, ideally, this needs to be turned into a straight copper line. Um, actually, all these bottom ones need to be turned to straight copper lines. All these ones need to be turned to iron lines. Now, after I say it out loud, I'm like, do I really need that? I really need a dedicated copper because this is enough for just now but as we start scale things up it's not going to be okay so between episodes i'm gonna make this a dedicated copper we're gonna drain all the iron from it um at the same time i'm going to uh take this iron belt and run it i'm gonna move all the iron belts up one uh no i'm not even gonna do that I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna cut this iron belt, run two copper belts. Yeah. So I'm gonna tweak around with 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 the furnaces. Um, I want to have one lane of dedicated copper, and then we can undo some of the mess we've done here down here. Um, in the future, in theory, we we should combine all these into a neat bus down the middle. Um, they're all future JD problems, not current JD problems. So I'm going to leave this episode here. We've killed some biters. We're going to have definitely more to kill off. Um, oil is our next goal, which is here or here. Um, considering the way our pollution is spreading, it's probably going to be this one. Um, so we're going to have to go off and kill off these neighbors, along with probably work on a bit more perimeter defense and possibly... Yeah, we're going to have to go to get this one because we're going to need this iron patch eventually and this copper patch. Um, Cole, we're pretty good on, he says out loud and looks at it and goes, probably not. Okay, next episode, it's all going to be about claiming some territory after I fix some furnace stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying and I will catch you in the next episode. All right, bye.